everybody I'm gonna present you today the washing machine motor generator but till this one I'm gonna tell you something uh, a little bit about generators so basically all or almost all of the electrical motors can be turned into a generator by reverse engineering them like this one even this one can become a small DC generator this one is a very common one this is a washing machine pump yeah a motor basically with some magnets inside that normally when we apply power to it it's gonna spin this stuff and it's gonna drain the water from your washing machine but if we're gonna apply force here we're gonna reverse it we're gonna end up with uh, on this end with uh, some electricity very practical example of this one we're gonna take a small red LED we're gonna attach it straight away to the wires like so very rough setting okay and now as you can see here we're gonna rotate see so already the LED is lighting that can be called a generator folks the generator because something is gonna move this Thing and it's gonna produce electricity all right but the main purpose of this video is gonna be the washing machine motor generator how to wire it uh, this one could be one of the uses of the washing machine motor all right uh, also there are the other kind of uh, motors induction motors uh, ac motors uh, synchronous motor that you can find in the microwave oven uh, dc motors like this one and so on and so on there are many type of uh, motors electrical motors but today I'm going to present you how you can make a generator, how you can wire this washing machine motor, the basic stuff, that you can do it. First thing first, you have a video here, how to connect it to AC and DC. If you want to check it, here is your thing. We're going to see now, two tack wires, I'm not going to use it. The brushes, which connect in, inside the motor into the, the stator. It's got many winds onto the stator and so these two brushes is the stator and we got this one and on the bottom one another coil that's a field coil alrighty then so we have established that these are the rotor or the brushes okay and these are the field coils so we're gonna apply power to the field coils and we're gonna rotate the the shaft or the rotor because it's got the brushes and stuff it does matter how much voltage and amperage we're gonna apply to this because and how fast we're gonna turn the motor because on the, on the other end we're gonna see real power all right we're gonna hook it up to a very rough setting and we're gonna be back with a real example we're back this is gonna be the setup for the washing machine motor generator how to wire it basically I told you before we're gonna ident identify the field windings we're gonna apply power to it not much and we're gonna rotate the the rotor with the help of this washing machine part you know this is the drum inside the washing machine the washer we call it wash washing yeah so we're gonna put a belt to the motor like normally is used in the in the washing machine we're gonna spin it and we're gonna apply power to it let me set it up very nice and we're gonna be back all right folks so as i told you before we're gonna bring in the 12 volts battery a light bulb to limit the current flowing through the field windings and after that we're gonna attach the multimeter to, to see exactly how it is 
So basically these two wires are the field windings in the last two yeah so we're gonna connect the battery straight away doesn't matter which one is plus and which one is minus there you go and on the other side on the negative side we're gonna connect the the bulb basically is this is a 12 volts incandescent yes yeah we're gonna light up so it meaning that the power is going to the to the windings all right we're gonna connect the multimeter to the rotor and after that we're gonna set up the camera and i'm gonna give it a spin and to see exactly what are the measurements all right folks bear with me for a while i'm gonna connect the, the led bulb to the other end See, now it's lighting, <coughs> and I'm gonna try to give it a spin. Uh, kind of dead, so we're gonna try to move as fast as we can. You can see the, the light bulb is barely leading, so we're gonna try to keep this one steady. And here you go, folks. Ah, it slipped. All right, so ba the battery is nearly dead. We're gonna try maybe later a little bit, but now I'm gonna show you without the battery, the washing machine motor is still generating, but not that much power. You no, know, without the battery, you see, without applying power, too low. You see, very few volts. All right then. So basically, this washing machine motor can be turned into a generator if we're gonna find something to spin it fast enough and maybe with the power generated by it to compensate the, the power of this uh, we are trying now at this moment but as soon as we're gonna see something uh, real useful i'm gonna post it in the meanwhile check out the other videos and uh, right. of the end of the tunnel here you go folks is bright as a mullet. Bright and easy. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned. Thumbs up, subscribe, and who knows? Maybe next time we're gonna have a free energy device. Thanks all for watching. No skills required. Out. Out.